Hey everyone, it is Tanya. Welcome back to the channel or welcome if you are new here. Today I am back with the final part of our furnishing the New York City inspired brownstone apartments. And this is going to be a one bedroom apartment for an artist. I started off with a vague concept of wanting this to be an apartment for someone who was living with their significant other and that they had opposite interests, like the whole opposite attracts sort of idea. And I was kind of originally thinking, oh, I'll do something that's like really minimal and clean. And then they move in with somebody who is a little bit more eclectic. But I then started changing some swatches, changed the swatch of the couch to a pink and orange version and immediately started falling in love with this apartment and changed it to be for an artist instead. Uh, that, that's just kind of how builds go sometimes. You have one concept when you start something and then it kind of evolves over time, but that tends to be when some of my favorite buildings or my favorite builds come to be. Uh, I love how this one came out. I'm obsessed with the interior of this one and it just feels so cozy and I love the layout as well. This is one of the first apartment layouts that I figured out when I started sectioning off the buildings into apartments, but it's the last one I'm decorating. Uh, there is one other unit in this building that is not decorated. It's the same layout as this one. It's, I believe, up one floor. This one's on the first floor. The other one's on the second floor. Uh, but it's the same exact layout as this. And I'm leaving that one unfurnished in the uploaded version of this build. So if you'd like to decorate it for yourself, it's the same layout as this. Uh, but yeah, here I am getting an easel in this space and changing the swatch. And I just think it is so pretty. I don't know if I've used the pink and orange swatch before. Uh, but I really loved it in this space and so I'm just going ahead and changing the curtains to be white and making this place a lot more like bright and airy. Uh, so trying to figure out what other decor pieces I want to have in here and there's plenty of plants. I have this little tray. I got one of my favorite tables, uh, coffee tables that is from Tiny Living and then I'm just going to get a lamp and a couple of other things over on this dresser by the front door. That's just like a regular dresser from the Get Famous pack, but I scaled it down uh, to look more like a side table. It was a little bit too big in my opinion, uh, but I was just using it as a decoration. I'm not sure if that's functional because it's tucked over there, but I wasn't really intending for it to be, so I don't think it's too big of a deal. Uh, but yeah, I just added a basket over here with some books and a plant in it, and I just think this looks like such a realistic space. I loved that this plant had an orange pot to really tie in the color scheme I have going in here. It just looks so friendly and happy. And um, I actually realized while I was decorating this that the colors of this apartment unintentionally were the colors of the lesbian flag. So I decided to lean into that. And since this was a sim who was an artist, I was thinking that there was a lot of like really pretty drawings and sculptures and stuff of the female form. I'm guilty of this. <laughs> I have like some candles in my office that are of the female form. And I was kind of trying to channel that into this apartment. Uh, so I ended up uh, renovating this kitchen. So it's a little bit more in style with the rest of the colors in here. And there's this like bust in base game that looks like a woman's body. So I ended up putting that in here thinking it could be a candle. And uh, I also ended up getting some like drawings throughout and just lots of like fun florals and leaning into the color scheme quite a bit. And I was imagining this was for two ladies who are in a relationship living together. And that was just the vibe of this apartment. And I really like how it came out. I think it is so, so cute. There is that bust that I had mentioned. I also got some plants here in the kitchen and just trying to decorate that corner counter so that we leave the one next to the stove uh, nice and accessible for your Sims to go ahead and prep food and do all the cooking they could possibly need to, uh, but wanted to still have lots of personality in this space. So grabbing these jars from the Cottage Living Pack in the pink swatch. I really leaned into the pink in here, but I don't think it's too overwhelming. I just think it looks like nice and fresh and clean. Uh, and I, I was just really enjoying that. I love the couch in this space. I just, it's one of my favorites in the game and it's so nice whenever we get like new pieces like that that you end up being obsessed with and you can't stop using. Uh, I, that is definitely one of them. But over here by the fireplace, I did add a TV above it that is a frame TV. And then I painted the wall behind it using the same stone texture that's on the outside of this particular build, uh, this particular brownstone. And then I also got some like fire pokers right by the fireplace. So it looks like you can go ahead and use that. Uh, I don't think I remember to include the fireplace in the upstairs unit that is directly above this one, but 
if I didn't, I will try to remember to add that before I upload these to the gallery. Uh, they should be up on the gallery tomorrow because I think tomorrow I am going to be posting a tour of all of the different units here so you can see all of them in one or if there's like one in there that you didn't watch the speed build for and you'd like to see it, they'll all be linked in the description. I've been linking them in the description of every video in this series anyway, but I thought it'd be nice to go through and tour all of them since this has been such a long process decorating all of these and uh, I just I just thought it'd be nice and I had some suggestions to do that. So that should hopefully be out tomorrow. But anyway, in this little hallway space here, I did opt to have a desk and a bookcase. Uh, so there is a computer here. There's some of the drawings this sim has done. I also made sure to add some keys and stuff by the door right over those paintings. And then I wanted to move in this little um, like painter table next to the easel. So there's a place to put down all of your paints and stuff. And then just decorating the desk. I love this book piece that is, oh goodness, I don't remember what pack that is from, but I really like that book piece that has the bear as the bookends. I don't use it very often, but I think it's really nice. I also got to use the giraffe lamp in here, which I thought was really fun. Uh, so just moving some of that around, trying to make the desk look cluttered. And I believe I got some sticky notes up here as well. Yep. And then over here, I get a mirror as well as like temperature controls and fire alarm. I should be adding those afterwards, but first we're working on the bathroom. I used all the same fixtures as the other apartments, but I decided to swap out the mirror. I thought that, that was kind of realistic that you might replace that. There's also updated tiles in here, just like in the kitchen, because this unit is partially renovated and uh, just adding some basic bathroom clutter. We got towels and bathrobes and a like unit over the toilet for extra storage. I also added this really pretty poster from the book nook kit in here. And I thought that this little bath mat was perfect for this face. And then I go through a few different beds. I end up going with one from Cottage Living in the end, which is this one here with this really pretty floral pattern on it. Uh, but I felt like it was a little bit too cottagey, <laughs> of course, from Cottage Living. Uh, so I ended up using a sign, I believe from Cats and Dogs and scaling that up behind the bed to create a like really large headboard. Uh, so just scaling that now and playing around with that. And I put in some book... Uh, not bookshelves. I put in some modular pieces and then I changed my mind about which ones, but I made some bedside tables that were like coming out of this shelf. And I really think it helped to make this space feel correct and complete. Uh, I also loved the paintings I put up above the bed. They really bring in those colors that I was using in the other room of the pinks and the oranges, uh, using that same lamp that I used by the entryway and just getting a couple more decorations. Here we have some like makeup and a jewelry box and uh, our phone, and I just think it's a really cute bedroom. I, I really love how this apartment came out, and I feel like the rooms really fit together quite well, even though the living room is definitely my favorite space. I also really enjoyed using the radiators in this apartment. That was something that I just feel like makes sense in this space. I've talked about this in builds before, that I don't have a radiator, and I've never lived someplace that does, so I forget they exist, but I thought that they looked really nice here and I'm trying to remember to include them in future builds because I know they're a realistic touch in a lot of places. So uh, added them here. We also have a place to hang up some photos as well as a closet and a vanity space for your Sims to get ready. And that should be pretty much it for this apartment. We're just going to get a couple finishing touches and then that will be the end of this series. But I will see you tomorrow for a tour of all of them. So I really hope you enjoyed these. If you did, make sure you give this video a big thumbs up. You can also subscribe to the channel if you'd like to see more content and click that bell to be notified when I upload. Thank you so very much for watching. Please enjoy those screenshots and I will see you all in the next one. Bye everyone.